So in a previous video, I did uh, a demonstration of doing debugging locally and attaching to a running process locally. So in this video, I'm actually going to do it uh, the same demonstration, but this is going to attach to a remote process on a remote server. So this is the same code as the demo before. And I'm going to switch over to the server. So I'm going to be running this program here on uh, this server and attaching my debugger on the other machine or on the other server to this server. Uh, the first thing I need though is I need to get the debugging tools. So if I go to Google and I search for set up de uh, remote debugging for uh, a certain Visual Studio um, and I click on this and I'll have this link uh, up here uh, and I'm, I happen to be using Visual Studio 2012 but there's really not too much of a difference between 2012 and 2013 in terms of remote debugging. So if I scroll down, I pick the version uh, that I need. So in my case, it's x64. And I actually already downloaded this. So if I go to that folder and run it, so it's just R tools for remote tool setup, uh, x64. And I'm just gonna go ahead and install this on the server that I'm doing the remote debugging on. And after I do this, I'll actually have to uh, configure the firewall, uh, which I believe it's going to prompt me to do it automatically. Um, so if I go here, uh, I'm actually using uh, Windows 2012. So I'm going to go to my start menu, and I'm going to select remote debugger here. and normally I guess I already have my firewall setting set up but but normally it would prompt me to configure my uh, firewall settings for the first time but I already have that set up so it's not gonna prompt me yeah so um, I already had this installed before so it didn't prompt me but in any case um, I do I do need this running. This is the remote tools uh, remote debugging tools client, um, and I'm gonna change a few options here. I go to tools options, and it's gonna be running on port 14 uh, 4016. But I'm gonna say no authentication, and I'm just gonna say allow any user to debug, and I'm gonna click OK here, so I don't have any of the uh, Windows. NT permission issues uh, with you know domains and all of that. So you notice here it's running on port uh, Soundwave, uh, which is my server name, port 4016, and I've configured it for no authentication. So now that I have that remote tool set up, I'm just going to run the program that I want to debug. And in in my case, I'm kicking off a particular program, but you could be uh, attaching the debugger to a running um, you know Windows service or whatever you have debugging symbols for and, and uh, kind of a uh, co code for so here uh, my memory hog program just eats up system memory so it's gonna eat up at increments of one up to 500 megs every 10 seconds and you'll notice here this uh, it's gonna write to the console every 10 seconds every time it eats up one meg so you, you'll notice in my debugging there's that 10 seconds and it uh, so in my debugging here I switch let me switch back to my local uh, so I'm gonna attach now to the remote debugger that I have and here it's already set because I've I've been doing debugging before but if I click find you notice I found the server that my remote debugging is on and the IP address is correct and I'm just gonna click select here and it warns me I don't have any authentication which is what I want so now it's gonna list all the processes running on that remote server uh, via the remote debugging tools so I'm gonna click uh, memory hog there and click attach and you'll notice uh, in this window, the modules window, it already loaded all the debugging symbols. 
and it loaded it from this symbol cache that I had configured and where and uh, let me rehash this uh, but it's actually in the other video also so the debugging uh, cache can be configured here under debugging and symbols so if I click on a breakpoint now it's it's gonna kick in uh, somewhere within 10 seconds there it is it kicked in and um, you'll notice if I switch back to my remote server here it's stuck on uh, 57 megs and let me go back over to my local and I'm just gonna click continue here so you could just step through the entire code so you'll notice now when I go back it printed uh, wrote to the console so the um, remote debugging is working and it is attached and once again um, it stopped at the breakpoint so um, that's how you do remote debugging uh, from one server to another or from your local machine or workstation to a server uh, wherever the R tools remote tools is installed so uh, you know I hope that was helpful for you and uh, thank you for watching